Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell to help me get to my next goal of 1500 subscribers. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again for being here. I do truly appreciate your support and time. Today I've got one of my jewelry subscription boxes. It is Mint Mongoose, so I just get there regular subscription but if you would like to try mint mongoose out you can use the link that I'll leave for you guys below to save five dollars it's only $15.99 per month and you get three pieces of jewelry and it's always really fun because they design the jewelry themselves and you can choose whether you prefer gold or silver or rose gold or you can get a mixture I usually say that I prefer gold even though there have been a couple times where I wish I had gone with the silver but you can always change that up they are very responsive when I've ever had to reach out to their customer service, which has been rarely. Now, it doesn't actually come in a box. It comes in this very shiny teal mailer, which is great. And then inside of that mailer, they now have a product sheet, which is great. They always include a Werther's Original, which I also think is great. Um, I wonder what the story is about that, if they've ever shared that with their subscribers, why they always put a Werther's Original in there, not some other kind of candy. And then you also get this little envelope with a teal ribbon and little wax seal with a little mongoose there on it, hence the name. So I guess it's actually mint colored, not teal. That would make more sense. So let me just open this up and we'll start to get into our collection. So pretty good wrapping for the most part. Then you always have a little bit of a mint tissue paper and I'm just going to open this up so that we can see what we've got. The kind of surgery that I need to do to get into the pieces and then usually within this uh, tissue paper there's a bag per item so again even though it's not coming in a box everything is pretty protected and as usual yes there are three bags and they do spoilers over on social media but there's usually like one surprise item that you don't know what it is until you get it so I'm just gonna show it to you this is kind of nice we've got a picture of Stonehenge here on the back but let's read about it says our inspiration summer is upon us and with the summer solstice right around the bend it's actually summer solstice when I'm filming this I wanted to celebrate the beginning of this warm and toasty chapter with this month's design so cheers to us awesome humans making some great memories this summer so very exciting so let me see if I can read this all to you without ruining everything it looks like I can the set I wanted this, the necklace in this set to be a long piece, perfect for sporting in your summer adventures, whether that means going to a beach, soaking up the sun in your backyard, or nighttime s'mores making sessions around the fire pit. The piece is bold, but a tribute to one of the biggest reasons we are able to enjoy summer, the sun. Since the summer solstice marks the onset of summer and the longest day of the year, I wanted to incorporate that length into the piece. Like that idea. I also wanted to incorporate the hexagon shape known to be the strongest geometric shape there is, since we could all use a reminder of our strength now and then. As the idea of length and the shape of a hexagon came together, it paved the way for the inclusion of a crowd favorite, the chevron, and thus the set took shape. I think that's so awesome that she like gives us a little bit of the background now about the inspiration. So I'm gonna see if I can find what she was talking about. So the first item is the longer necklace that I have seen over on Instagram. And I'm excited and it did come in gold and it looks like this is more of like a true gold. Sometimes the pieces, depending on the style, have looked more like an antique gold, almost like a brassy color. And then it's also got this beautiful like green stone. I'm not sure what kind of stone it is, but you can see it is a very long chain, but it does have an extender on it with like one, two, three different hoops where you could do it. And this little medallion on the end always just has their mongoose printed on it. So this is actually really pretty. I thought like when I first saw it that it might be like a little bit chunky and I usually like really delicate pieces, but I think the chevron and just the way that that uh, green stone is kind of placed in the middle is actually really lovely. So I'm wondering if it's actually long enough to go over my head, which would be great. 
because you know how much trouble I have putting necklaces on on camera. So it is pretty long. You guys won't be able to see it, but I could probably go just a little bit shorter. Or of course, you could always put it on a shorter chain if you really wanted to, but it is going to catch the light really nicely. And I do think that it's really, really pretty piece. Now, usually the earrings are going to match. Let me just show you really quickly the three different colorways so you can kind of see right there. So you could have gotten it in that like rosier gold. I actually like it in the gold quite a bit. Um, and I do like this kind of sagey green. I don't wear that color a lot, um, but I certainly like it as just a nice natural looking stone in a piece of jewelry. So let me open up what look to be earrings that will match. And these are awesome. These are probably one of my favorite pieces that I've gotten from Mint Mongoose and I haven't even gotten them out of the bag yet, but I can tell you why. So it mimics the shape of the pendant, but without the stone. So that makes them a lot more usable in my opinion and they're just big enough that I think they will show up really nicely. I don't have any earrings that are like this but here they are. So again it is pretty much just that same piece but then they didn't do that hovering stone. So let me just show you maybe one and I love the chevron shape so you can see it here. And then the back it actually does go in, so it is almost like a bent piece of paper. And then the back has this kind of like brushed gold going on. So I'm going to go ahead and put one on. I always just do the left side because then I think you have a better chance of seeing it in my hair. But I didn't wear any jewelry for this video. These are awesome. Like I think those are great. They are elegant, but they are big. And like I said, these probably are one of my favorite pieces that I have so far gotten from Mink Mongoose. And I have gotten... A lot of compliments on all of the different mint mongoose pieces that I have worn so these are great these are my favorite piece so far and then we have one more item so let's open it up and see although last month's uh, set was really gorgeous as well it was those like white lilies of the valley and then I really liked the little leaf ring that we got let's see what this is some more gold and another piece that has that hexagon shape that she was talking about and another nice simple simple piece and it is another long chain i kind of wish it was a little bit shorter but this would definitely layer nicely and all it is is a simple hexagon and again it's in that nice true yellow gold but how pretty is that i love these pieces that don't have color to them besides the metal tone um, I don't think this is I don't think this is big enough to go over my big head, but it does, like I said, have extenders. So we'll see if I can put it on. I mean, probably not. Let's be honest. I do a really bad job of this on camera <laughs> and the hole is kind of small. So and now I lost it. So forgive me, you guys. We'll just give it a shot. That's probably going to fall down, but maybe I caught it. There we go. So that's really cool. Actually, it's a great length. Um, so at least whatever whatever hoop I managed to catch it on, that is a great length. I think they work really well together because they have those strong geometric designs. Um, and I even think that even though it's not like a perfect match, that the earrings and the necklace go really, really nicely. So great pieces this month from Mint Mongoose. I am super happy with this set. Let me know what you guys think, what your favorite piece is in this particular collection. If you've ever tried out Mint Mongoose or any other jewelry subscriptions, and like I said, don't forget, you can save $5 if you use my link below. Hopefully, I'll see you guys all very, very soon. Please, if you like this video or any of my videos, give them a thumbs up. It's a great, easy way to help any channel out. And hopefully, I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.